So here, our first type is hydrostatic lubrication. <coughs> In this lubrication, hydrostatics means the name implies we require the external source as a pump or a pumping device to pump the oil from the reservoir to the system. Okay. So in this system, we required external pumps for these lubrications. So we can say the hydrostatic lubrication in which the load supporting high pressure to fill is created by an external source like a pump. The lubricant which is pressurized extremely is supplied between the two surfaces. Means whatever the lubricant pumped, it will supply between the two contacting surfaces so that the lubrication action is takes place. So just like hydrostatics, the hydrodynamic bearings, the hydrostatic bearings do not require motion of one surface to another. Okay. So in this we are seeing this hydrostatic system is composed by two surfaces. So one is smooth and other having is more pockets or vessels. First one where the film thickness is thin and second one composed by pocket where the film thickness is larger. Okay. The fluid supply. In the fluids or lubricant supply through this external fluid which is located in the recess. And the flow should be constant, valid for liquid only. A pump with a constant output is used when there are many pockets or everywhere in recess can be supplied. <clears throat> the hydraulic resistance is located upstream of the pockets. So we are discussed here hydrostatic lubrication. In this lubrications, again, what are the various advantages and limitations? Other over lubrication methods we can see now the hydrostatic bearings can take high load even at exceptionally low speed it means they are carrying load carrying capacities high they have very low frictional losses even at the startings they have high positional accuracy load carrying capacity of the hydrostatic bearings is not depend on viscosity hence any fluid that does not damage the bearings and in hydrostatic bearing the stiffness of oil film can be controlled by the controlling the supply pressure. Okay, so these are some advantages. And in these advantages, the prices or cost of this lubrication system are to be high and the system are complex. Okay, the hydrostatic bearing, particularly those are operating with liquid, how many advantages, but at the same time, we are having some disadvantages. They have high initial as well as maintenance cost. Overall power loss is not necessarily low. So there are some advantage, disadvantages. And lastly, for this lubrication, we can discuss application of these bearings. So where these hydrostatic bearings are applied, we have to see now. The hydrostatic bearing are used in vertical turbo generators, rolling mills, large telescopes, gyroscopes, machine tools, high speed dental drill, centrifuges, rocket engines, etc. Okay. The compensating element are all these two types for these lubrications, constant supply pressure types or and constant flow type compensatory devices. By using these devices, we are perform these lubrications.
So how to prepare the analysis, how to find the load carrying capacity or bearing stiffness, viscosity distributions. So we have to take the slow day of the analysis for this analysis, we have to consider the viscous fluid flow through a rectangular slot, means we have to take this analysis. So, in concluding, concluding section, we have to see in today's lecture, we are seeing the various properties of, of these lubricants and majorly the first mode of lubrication as hydrostatic lubrication with its advantages, disadvantages and various applications. So, today we stop here. In next lecture, we take the other mode of lubrication as hydrodynamic mode of lubrications. Okay, thank you.